If stress keeps catching up with you, I've got a solution for you. Hello, welcome to this week's White Spirits News. My name is Sibylla and I help women in their 40s and 50s to do more of what they love and find their unique life purpose. And if that sounds interesting, go to my website, wildspiritscoaching.com and join the community of Wild Spirits by signing up for the Wild Spirits News 100% spam free. It's one email per week that contains actually useful information. I'd love to have you. Now, the subject of today. Three processes to eliminate stress and burnout proof your life. You see, even those of us who consciously try to slow down and have simplified our lives, even we sometimes get caught up in stress. It's the way of our world and sometimes it's hard to escape. So rather than continuing to fight a losing battle, I've got three processes for you that help you steady yourself again and again as often as it's possible and make your life burnout proof. So your mission today is to learn how to eliminate stress for good. Process number one is clarity. Stress has a way of leading us on a wild goose chase and distracting us. And in the end, we get worked up about insignificant details and, and no longer see the wood for the trees. The antidote for this is clarity. And ideally, you gain this clarity in advance, meaning before it gets stressful. So. One good exercise that I sometimes tell my clients is to sit down and write down what is the what are the most important things in your life. So write those down. It's important to do this in writing. Trust me on this. And make sure to include at least one passion, hobby or interest, so something that gives you joy in that list. And whenever things get hectic in the future, take a step back and remind yourself of that list. If the thing that you're stressing about is not on the list, then maybe it's not really worth it. And that doesn't mean like if you're at work, it doesn't mean you can't still give your best. Of course, you can give your best. You just don't need to lose your head over it. Process number two is radically prioritize. Get in the habit of sitting down every morning of every day or starting the work day that way by writing down all your tasks for the day, like everything, answering emails, like every last task. And then out of these tasks that you've written down, pick two priorities maximum. Yes, you heard me. Two. Resist the temptation of saying, oh, but it's all important. Find your two most important tasks. And when these are done, you can pat yourself on the back and say, great job. Everything else is icing. Of course, you'll get more done than two tasks every day. But it's a good feeling to have the priorities sorted. And obviously, they should be the priorities. They should be the most important things. If you absolutely insist on adding a third priority, then make sure that this third priority is a passion, something that lights you up and gives you joy. Process number three is alignment. Aligning your day and your activities is a great way of avoiding that headless chicken confusion that leads to stress and burnout. Now, if you know your life purpose, that is one good thing to align yourself to. If you don't, you could start with your values. Values are something that you are at the deepest core of your being. I'll leave in the description a link to a page where you can download a worksheet with a list of values just to inspire you. Go over this and find your five top values. Doesn't mean that you don't have any other values. We all have a lot more than five, but find the five that are most important to you and write those down. And once again, when things get hectic, that is another thing to remind yourself of and see whether the things that stress you out with the, the things that, that you're supposed to do, whether they are aligned with your values. And if they're not, then learn to set a boundary and say a very firm no to it. It leads to such peace of mind, trust me. And if you find that these above three processes that I just mentioned are not possible to implement in your life, that could be a sign that you need some change to stay healthy in order to stay mentally healthy, to not burn out in order to, to have a healthy life. I do realize there are life circumstances when it's not immediately possible, but it is something that you should keep in mind. There, need, there needs to be some fundamental change in your life in order to stay healthy and to have a chance of happiness and contentedness. These three processes are guide rails that you can orient yourself towards. 
And that was it for today. I hope the three processes were useful. Let me know in a comment whether they were. And like I said, if you would like some more, then join the community of Wild Spirits by signing up for Wild Spirits News on my website, wildspiritscoaching.com. I wish you a beautiful week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.